Hi guys, I'm Sam Mills and welcome to another big episode of 30 Days Has September. It is currently the third it is it's currently Thursday the 15th of September 2011 and we'll just take you through some of the big news of the day and it has been a particularly big day for the AFL Players Association and the CBA agreement. But uh, we can tell you that the AFL Players Association have rejected the $1.44 billion offer from the AFL for the next CBA. Their main reason, pointing out that they only wanted a three-year deal and not a five-year deal. They're, they say that uh, over, the, over the period of five years that the AFL landscape changes a lot and they want to be in the best possible position. Um, I and they also say that uh, five-year agreements are virtually unheard of, even though the previous agreements have been five-year agreements. I personally think this is really bad. I think that the players are bit getting a bit greedy here. Um, I think they just need to agree to this deal because what the AFL what the AFL has done, they've put together. I think it's just not opinion, but a good deal. The AFL says they have no money left and that they can't do any more. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if this goes down the same track as the NBA currently are. They're in day 75 of the NBA lockout, and if the if this goes to a lockout for the AFL, um, it could... Uh, who knows what will happen if it goes to a lockout for the AFL. It's just going to be shocking. Um, yeah, it's, it's really not going to be good, and we could be without AFL... A bit, and that would be absolutely terrible. Although it would encourage state leagues like the VFL to be better for that, better off with that. But uh, anyway, if it does go to a lockout, uh, I'll just put my contact details down the bottom of the screen and I'll play for free. So if you wouldn't mind uh, Collingwood, I'd be happy to get drafted by you guys, even if it's only for one game. Uh, I could be the youngest player ever. And that'd be good. Okay, so moving on to the teams now, and they have just been announced less than half an hour ago. And the big news is that Buddy Franklin has been kept in by the Hawks, and he is scheduled to play tomorrow night. So that is fantastic stuff. We saw he was training today. He didn't do a lot of heavy training, but he was still training, just having a few shots on goal. But anyway, in for the Hawks is Ben Stratton, who comes back after a week off, and the week before that was a big injury. Out goes Bruce, who has been the super sub for Hawthorne this year, but started as sub no less than seven times this year, I think. Um, and the Sydney Swans have had no change. Moving on to the next game, at Subiaco, or Patterson Stadium, Stadium as it's now called, on Saturday night. And the Eagles have welcomed back Daniel Kerr, who will replace Brad Ebert. And that's fantastic news for the Eagles. And even better news that Bryce Gibbs is out of the Carlton team. And Cruiser has not come back in. In from Gibbs comes in Zach Tui. So it's going to be very, very hard for Carlton now. And if they could get over, if they will get over, if they do get over the line, sorry about that, if they do get over the line, will be possibly one of their best victories ever. I can sort of uh, remember back a few years ago when West Coast had all their players out. They had Kerr, Cousins, and uh, Judd, Kerr, Cousins, and Judd, uh, which was Judd's last season against Collingwood in the semi final. And uh, they managed to take it to extra time, but Collingwood managed to win. If Carlton could do that, it would be an absolutely amazing effort for them. So, moving on to the other news of the day, and as I have been saying, there has been uh, some big news, and just a particular Richmond D listing. Tom Hislop, uh, the injury riddled player, has been delisted by Richmond. Uh, used to play for Essendon, of course, in 2008, and now I would not rule out Kevin Sheedy getting into GWS, because, you know, anyone who Sheedy drafts is ultimately a friend of Sheedy for life. So, yeah. Anyway, um, Telstra uh, are threatening to 
get rid of their $153 million contract with the AFL and also the NRL um, over disputes that Optus Mobile customers are getting replays to AFL games. So that's probably not good news for the AFL with the CBA. So they could be getting rid of their $153 million contract and that would be uh, that would lower the CBA. So interesting that. And also, um, particularly bad news, uh, 1HD will not be showing the grand final in HD. Uh, instead, there will be Moto, uh, MotoGP qualifying, which I would have to say is a pretty poor excuse for not showing Australia's biggest sporting event on HD. Anyway, uh, the question for today is, should the AFL players have accepted the CBA agreement? Of course, you can comment down below, and also you can tweet us at hashtag 30DHS. Remember to follow our Twitter account at SGCenterSquare, and that's just about it for tonight's show. You can uh, catch us tomorrow for another big show on the, well, this is finals eve, but on the night of the finals. Uh, and, yeah, we'll have a big show. All right, uh, we'll leave you there, and have a good day. See you later.